Hello everyone, this is Jade Noble back at again with another video. Today I'd like to go over um, basically my top coins that I bought so far in 2024. Um, we're kind of, you know, in the middle of the year, it's kind of getting towards the end of June. We're at the halfway mark of the year and I thought I'd go through my uh, top purchases and kind of rank them um, so far. So I got some pretty cool coins I've been looking for for a little bit that I was able to score and I just wanted to go through them all with you and uh, tell you what I think about them. So I'm at number five. I'm actually going to come in with this uh, 1899 um, Philadelphia orange silver dollar and I think this one's actually really um, an underrated coin because uh, it is a low mintage at just uh, a little over 300,000. And the survival rate's not extremely high, but in mint state, um, there are quite a few. But this coin, um, I really think is undergraded. Um, I think it's at least a 63. And it might even be a 64 now. Um, but still a really cool coin, Blast White. Um, a really undervalued coin, because this coin uh, is only worth about, you know, about 300 bucks max. So um, a pretty cool coin, really undervalued. I'm really glad I was able to add that. But that comes in at number five. And uh, number four, just from really rarity perspective, I'm going to go with this 1887S, and it's in uh, a really cool holder. This is the uh, Generation 2.1 holder. You can kind of see it doesn't even have PCGS on the actual label. It has this really cool retro font. It's got these cool inventions in it. And then it, the PCGS logo is really small right there at the bottom right. And that's what makes this kind of cool. But this is a MS64 um, 1887S. And it's a really nice coin. It's got this really nice original, like, orange, yellow toning. It's got this really nice look to it. Really nice original look to it. Definitely wasn't tampered with ever. Um, and it's a really cool coin and really cool holder. So I'm going to put that number four. A really cool Morgan to add to my collection. Um, and this is a better date, guys. Um... And I can't remember the exact number I paid for it, but it's somewhere around 600. And I think these coins go for between about six and seven hundred dollars in this grade. So a pretty valuable coin. Um, it's a better date and harder to get in nicer condition. So I was really happy to score that. Number three, I'd been looking for this coin for a long time. This is a 1922 Grant commemorative half dollar, and this is just a stunner, guys. Um, MS65 grid NGC, really beautiful coin. Blast white coin, um, just, I love this coin. I love the bag, I love the house and the trees. And Grant was, I think, a really underrated president. Um, he was a great general and actually a pretty good president overall, um, in my opinion. And you guys can let me know in the comments what you thought of Grant, but um, he was a pretty cool, interesting guy and uh, he helped the union um, when the Civil War, and um, I think this is a really cool commemorative half dollar, and these are uh, fairly affordable. In Lower Mint State, you can get them for like 150, 200 bucks. In the MS65, they run uh, about four to five hundred dollars. Um, I think I actually got this one for a little under that. I think I had like 380, but it was just a beautiful coin. I definitely think it is a very solid 65. Maybe even better than that. There's like no hits on it. Super clean coin. So really like this coin. And then this one is was a really cool coin that I've been looking for for a couple of years. And then at number two, this is the, the Gettysburg camera to half dollar. And guys, this coin is just stunning. Um, a great MS63 and in this uh, old 2.1 holder. Really cool holder, guys. And the holder is like a mint shape. Um, it has not been tampered with at all. And it is cacked, and I'm really surprised it didn't gold cack this. Because there is literally hardly any hits on this coin. And I think Ben the Coin Geeks, he had one on his channel. Um, and it was in the same holder, and it was MS64. And it was green bean, and it, I don't even know if it looked as nice as one. It looked very similar to this one. But I was really surprised it didn't gold cack this, because this coin is an easy MS 65 by today's grading standards. I mean, look, you can't see any um, any hits on this coin, hardly at all. 
it's just a really nice coin uh, really undergraded but uh, still cool to have the gold keg would definitely make it worth more but the coin doesn't spread a whole lot I think only like 100 150 bucks between 63 and 65 and I think I scored this for can't remember the exact number is somewhere around that like 560 range I think um, 550 somewhere in there but it's a really nice coin and uh, this is a really cool commemorative half dollar um, more about the Civil War and the Battle of Gettysburg so a really cool coin and I was really glad to score this one really like the old commemoratives but at number one guys um, I thought I think this one's pretty obvious if you see my unboxing videos but the uh, the uh, 1859 O um, seated uh, Liberty Dollar graded AU55 uh, by NGC, and this is their vault box, so it's kind of a cool holder. But guys, the, these coins are, are really, I think, undervalued. Um, they're really nice coins, but the survival rate on these coins and the minages were extremely low. Um, this coin only has about 7,500 known which is less than even the 1893S Morgan dollar. And although there are more in higher grades, um, this coin, I think I paid $1,200. You can't even get an 1893S in any grade for $1,200. So um, a really cool coin, a really nice um, example, just some nice light wear, but it's been kept really nice. Um, I haven't really seen any issues with the coin. It's a beautiful coin. Um, a lot of these are very ugly. Um, and that's the hard part is finding one with good eye appeal. So I was really happy to score this one. And this was a big bucket lister that I've been looking at um, purchasing in the last two to three years. And um, I feel like I got a good deal. But this is definitely my number one purchase so far. So I thought I'd just go through my top purchases so far. I think um, the next on my list might be a Drake Bus Dollar. That's going to be really hard to score um, because... They are uh, pretty expensive, and there's not that many on the market, but I'm looking at either, I want a coin, I want a seated uh, Drake Bus Dollar from the 1700s, because I don't actually have, um, I don't believe I even have a, seven, no, I do have a 1700 US coin, but it was kind of an interesting one that Fujo sent, but I'd really like to get like a silver dollar from the 1700s, so I'm looking at either getting a 1798 or 1799. Um, Drake bus dollars, so that that's kind of next on the list. There's a few other coins I'm looking at, maybe like a 1928 uh, Philadelphia piece dollar. That's like one of the key dates of the series, a lower vintage coin. So just a few coins I'm looking at for. But uh, please let me know in the comments what you guys are looking for this year. Please let me know which one's your favorite coin, and I'll keep you posted. And hopefully I'll be able to get that Drake bus dollar. Um, there's actually more of them around than even this one. I think in the 1799. I think there's over 8,000 known. But it's kind of a similar um, rarity as this, but they're even more expensive, um, especially in nice grades. So, um, but I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.